What's up Tubes, it's jblaze06 here and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to set up the audio for the PlayStation 4. Now a lot of you already know that the PS4 doesn't allow audio capture from the TV so say for example you're playing something, you know you're in a chat room with your friends and you're playing Guilty Gear or Call of Duty or something like that and you want to capture their audio. There are very few ways in which you can do that. The PlayStation 4 for whatever reason doesn't allow you to just capture their audio onto your Elgato game capture card or whatever other game capture card you're using. So I'm going to show you the way that I do it so that you can also do it. So we can all be doing it. No sexual pun intended. Black Oni. So what you see here is essentially my setup. Now I'm going to break it down very in depth as to what exactly I do, but obviously I have a Mac computer connected via Elgato game capture card to the TV into the PlayStation 4. I have this USB hub right here, and I can have the links in the description down below so you can see exactly which products I'm using. And I have an external hard drive connected to it so that I don't have to save everything directly onto the computer. A USB microphone connected and that's over here. Now this is the Yeti microphone. That, again, there will be links in the description down below so you can see that. And I like this microphone a lot. It works really well. It looks like a penis, but whatever. Um, and the reason why I have this is so that the computer will be picking up the audio that I'm putting in. So it'll pick up my voice, and that is pretty much the only way you can get it to pick up your voice unless you use either a, in the built-in microphone or if you use uh, any other type of microphone that you use, like either via the 3.5 millimeter jack or whatever. And then I also have the USB connected to the game capture card. And so that runs all the way over here. And this is the cord, the HDMI in, that goes into the PS4, which is here, my customized PS4. Yeah, it's all pretty and stuff. And then the other cord, HDMI out, goes all the way to the back of the TV and there we have the visual setup. Now again, I mentioned before that there isn't really a way for you to capture in-game audio of your friends and so the only way to do that that I know of, of the stuff that I have currently, um, there is another way but I'm using here the PlayStation camera. Now this is so that I can actually talk to the people I'm playing with. Now, in order to make this setup work, you also need to have Astro A40s. You might be able to do this with the A50s as well, but I'm doing it with the Astro A40s. The trick is to use any headset that connects to the back of the PS4 via the optical cable. You want to have the optical cable connected, but you don't want to have the chat cable connected. Um, and the reason is because you don't want the audio coming from your friends that are in your party to come through the Astro A40. You want it to come through the TV. And the only way to trick the PS4 into doing that is to use a camera or using a USB microphone into your PS4. And so, again, the reason why you use the camera is to communicate with your friends and to have their audio come through the TV. So any audio that comes through the TV will also go through the Elgato game capture card because the game capture card is the thing that actually records the audio from the TV. Yeah, that's pretty much the setup. Um, I had a couple of people ask me about how to do this and what the audio setup looked like. I wanted to show you guys kind of in depth very quickly what that looks like and obviously you can see um, if I click on the button to do the commentary. Now you can see I have the commentary button on. You can see over here the commentary level is whatever it is because I'm talking right in front of the microphone, which is right here. And again, this is how you record the audio into the Elgato. Um, I'll quickly show you what my settings are. If you go into settings, go into sound and screen, audio output settings. And so you want to have it on digital optical. Um, that's going to ensure that most of the audio is coming through both the HDMI and the optical cable. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you have your headsets connected so that you can hear everything. Um, the one thing you want to keep in mind, especially if, you know, depending on where your camera is located, 
I used to have it located up there, but for the sake of some of my live streaming, I put it down a little bit lower, so you're seeing kind of the jerry-rigged version of that. You're gonna want to have the volume on your TV lower so that your friends don't hear echoes. I know it can be really annoying uh, to hear your own voice echoing. It can be disorienting a little bit, so uh, this is why I do this setup the way I do. And hopefully it, this was useful information for you guys. If it was useful information, I remember to press the like button and subscribe to stay tuned to everything else going on on the channel. And there's a huge backlog of content that you can watch from over a year ago. So that's the thing. Do it. Subscribe. Tell your friends about it so that they can subscribe. And then everyone subscribe and they can, they can all be doing a thing. Anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Jay Blaze Teaches. Game on and Jay Blaze out.